Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Matt Bickle of Dayspring Dental and uh, I'm here to talk to you tonight about something that's pretty amazing in dentistry. It's called a 3D cone beam CAT scan. Now most of the time when you have an x-ray taken at the dental office it's just a flat picture. Um, everybody's familiar with what dental x-rays look like and um, also we have the x-rays that go all the way around your head called a panoramic x-ray but we have something new here that's uh, really on the cutting edge of dentistry and it's something called a three-dimensional cone beam CAT scan and what that allows us to do is to see a three-dimensional picture of your teeth and your jaws and um, really get so much more information than you get from a regular two-dimensional x-ray. Uh, the best way I can describe it would be that um, a two-dimensional x-ray is like a road map and the 3D x-ray is like having Google Street View. So I'm going to switch over to the other part of the camera and show you some of the things that um, this new technology can do. Okay, so here is our computer screen, and I'm going to bring up um, one, of the, uh, one of the screens here. So, this is a patient who um, is having some trouble with uh, their root canal. And occasionally root canals do fail and need to be retreated. But a standard x-ray doesn't really show that much. But here we have our 3D x-ray, and we can take this part of the screen, this is called the volume rendering, and we can take it and we can move it around like that, and you might notice that dark area around that root there. Well, that is an abscess that's around that root. So we want to find out, well, why is that abscess there? So we're going to take a look up at this part, and this is basically a sideways view, very similar to what a normal dental x-ray would look like, except that you can move back and forth. So here we are, and we're starting at the cheek, and we're going through. So now we've hit the first part of the root, and you can see that big black circle around that root. That's an abscess that's there. The other thing that's interesting though is if you look, this area here is actually some inflammation in the sinus from that, that abscess on the root. ENTs are finding that fully 60% of sinus problems are actually due to abscessed upper molars. That's pretty incredible, but here's a patient that has sinus difficulties because of an abscessed molar. So now we need to fix this, so now we got to find out what's wrong. So now in this view, we can take the x-ray and we can start up at the chewing surface of the tooth and we can scroll down towards the end of the root. So now we get into where the root canal filling is, that's those white dots, and there we go, we just found our problem. I'm going to zoom in just on this screen and right there we've got three white dots showing where the root canals were filled and right there that black dot is a root canal that wasn't filled. That's a nerve that's still inside the tooth and still abscessed. So now we know because it's 3D when we open up the top of the tooth we can look right in and know that that's a that that part right there is right where that nerve should be and right where we'll be able to find it. And that'll make treatment for this patient so much easier because instead of just getting in there and guessing where things might be from a 2D x-ray, we can actually know the pinpoint location of something because it's on 3D. And the other thing that we can do is, okay, so we know that this is that right there is where the problem is. So we're going to take our bullseye here and we're going to put it right on that spot, just like that. And now when we go to the other views, the bullseye is right in that same spot on each of those views. 
So now I can look three dimensionally and see in all different ways where the problem is on that tooth. And that makes our root canal treatment so much better because there's no surprises in our treatment. We're not guessing looking at a two dimensional x-ray. We're seeing everything just in the same, uh, you know, in the same parameters that they are on a person. So now another use for the 3D, which is really cool, is implant planning. Okay, so here we have a patient who's got um, a missing tooth. You can see that that one there is missing. So we need to put an implant there. So in the past, what we've done is just measured on the x-ray. Okay, we can put an implant this particular length in and we're good to go. But that's not always enough. So what we can do on the 3D is we can go to this screen here that says implant and we click on there and what we're going to do is we're going to click add single implant right there. It's tooth number three so we're going to highlight tooth number three, hit OK and then there's our implant, it just appeared. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and we're going to grab our implant and we're going to move it over to where we want to place it and then all these windows pop up and then we're going to pick our brand of implant. I happen to place Hyacin brand implants so we're going to go to Hyacin and that's the implant that I place and we're going to pick the right size that we need so in this case it's going to be a five millimeter wide implant by seven millimeters long and then we can take this virtual implant here and we can move it right where we want it to be. And so in this case where we have it placed looks to be just a little bit too close to this tooth here. So we're going to take it and we're going to move it back just a little bit. So right there we're going to move it back a little so that it's right directly in between the two. But now we have a little problem because we don't quite have enough bone there because of the sinus. So then we can take it and we can tilt it just like that. So now we've got plenty of room to put it in and now what we can do is we can take this information here and we can send it to a laboratory and they can make us what's called a stent which will guide the placement of the implant in that exact place that we planned it on the software. So again we're doing treatment here that has no surprises. We know exactly the situation we have going in, we know exactly how to treat it, and we have the right tools to make it come out exactly how we want it. And then we can also do let's say you have an impacted tooth. Well with a 2D x-ray you don't know where that impacted tooth is. Is it on the tongue side? Is it on the cheek side? Where could it be? So here we have a patient who's got an impacted tooth and we're going to spin this volume rendering around and there it is. It's on the tongue side even though you can't see it on a regular x-ray it could be anywhere but now we know right where it is and then we can take our different views and we can scroll through them and we can see right where that tooth is so that makes it very easy for us to be able to either expose that tooth so that it can be moved in orthodontically or to know exactly where it is if it needs to come out. Again, treatment with no surprises. And then here's one last one. And here's another cool feature because one of the things that happens when you place implants on the lower jaw is that there's a nerve that runs through your lower jaw that um, 
is what makes your whole lip feel numb when you get a shot at the dental office. We're numbing that particular nerve. So if you damage that nerve in any way, then you will feel, the person will feel like they've got Novocaine possibly for the rest of their life. So it's very important that we plan exactly where that nerve is for treatment of implants. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take right here and we're going to click new nerve. And we're going to take this picture right here and we're going to scroll through. And that dot right there, that and that, that is where your nerve exits your chin and goes to your lip. That's what makes your lip feel numb when you've had Novocaine. So we're going to click on that dot right there. And then we're going to scroll down a little bit and follow the nerve. And we're going to click again and follow it. We're going to click again and again. And we're going to keep following it. And we're going to keep clicking along where you see that nerve. Okay, and then we hit done. And now we have the nerve highlighted in red. when we scroll through. So now here's what happens if we go to implant. There we have the nerve actually put there for us. Now watch this. We click add single implant like we did before and we're going to pick a lower implant on that side so we'll pick number 30 and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the implant there and now I'm going to pick my hyacin implant, just like before. And we'll click, we'll pick a four and a half millimeter, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to pick a 10 millimeter long implant, which is going to be way too long for this situation. So you look at this window here and you can see the, the red dot for the nerve. And I'm going to put that implant right there. And look, right there it shows up warning, zero millimeters. So what this is telling me is that if I want to place this implant, I do not have enough room because I'm sitting right on the nerve. So rather than look at an x-ray and not be able to see the nerve, I've got it actually mapped out here. So now I can take this implant and I can change it to a seven millimeter. And it's still giving me a warning that we're only... 1.7 millimeters away which isn't quite far enough so we're going to do what we did before and we're going to move this just a little bit right up to there and then look our warning goes away because now we know that we can place one there and it's safe we're not going to make the patient numb because we're far enough away from the nerve to not do any damage so we're also going to tilt it a little bit because it's not quite where we want it. So there we go. Now we have a perfectly placed implant that is safe for that patient because it's not going to be anywhere near the nerve that goes to their lip. So again, we have treatment with no surprises, which is exactly what anybody wants when they go to the dentist. You don't want to, to go to the dentist and find out, oh, I thought this treatment was going to go this way, and it turned out there's a problem because of something that they didn't foresee. And with these 3D x-rays, it really reduces a lot of the things that we can't foresee. And it makes treatment safer and easier and faster as well with better results. So I hope this has been an informative video for you to show you exactly what um, you know, modern dentistry can do for you and the tools that we have at our disposal to make your treatment safer and easier. 
And um, so if you have any questions, you can email me at Dr. Matt at Dayspring Dental Township. That's township as in T-W-P dot com. Um, or you can visit our website at dayspringdentaltownship.com or just click on our Facebook page and you can get there that way as well. And uh, if you want to make an appointment, you can give us a call at 856-875-8400. Thanks for joining me tonight.